Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Go Big with Leanne show, where we believe in empowerment through connection. And so my guest today is one of my favorite guys. <laughs> we met, he thinks 2013. I don't know because my memory doesn't work that way. So seven, eight years ago. Um, and oddly enough, we met in a bar and neither one of us go to bars, um, but we were at an event and we just um, connected from there and we've done lots of project, projects together. But Christian is the master marketer of building relationships and follow up. And so anybody out there that has um, a business um, or you want to be the good neighbor that has all the contacts um, or an entrepreneur that, you know, this subject is super important to everybody. And so I was so grateful that Christian agreed to come on and have a conversation with me because he's just a, he's a great guy. And, you know, he, he's admitted, he took notes on me when he met me. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, I mean, he's, I just love that he, you know, knows my name, knows things about me. And, you know, we all know that we love that when someone remembers things about us. So, um, and I am probably one, I love connections. So that's why my show is all about connections. And so I, I try to um, kind of master what Christian talks about. So, but for now, I'm going to turn it over to Christian, let him introduce himself and, and we'll get going on this fun topic. <clears throat> all right. Well, thanks for having me. It's flattering. Honestly, I, uh, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm not particularly smart or, or intelligent or anything like that. Um, I have had success online and in business with people. And I've also failed. I've mostly failed, actually, if <laughs> to be honest. I've, I've definitely gotten really good at failing. Um, but one of the things I learned over the years, probably the single most beneficial thing anybody ever did for me from a mentoring or a coaching perspective, uh, my old friend, Nancy Eckert, uh, I hope she sees this. Love you, Nancy. <laughs> like, holy cow, you changed my life. Totally changed my life. Um, the day that she called me and said something like, uh, hey, Christian, how do you keep track of people? And I said something like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I, I, I write stuff down, I guess. She was like, wrong answer. Um, I want you to run. Don't walk to the software store. And I think I went to CompUSA or something like that. This is like a long time ago. And I got a program that would allow me to put people's names in, their phone number, their email, and then take notes. I never used to do that until Nancy <laughs> got in my face because she cared and said, you have to do this. You have to. This is critical to your success. And ever since um, I've done that, it's been 15 years or so, maybe 16, 17 years now that, so when, <laughs> when Leanne and I were talking uh, before going live, we're trying to remember, when did we cross paths? Well, I can look, because it's in my <laughs> Oh, <laughs> man. Always, always take notes. <laughs> Very good. That's And that's, you know, uh, again, that goes back to building those relationships. And the other, um, you know, Christian introduced me to video marketing. So I owe him great debt to kind of get me, you know, into the trenches before it was really popular of doing live videos and YouTube videos and things like that. And but I, you know, I'm not, I wasn't as smart as him to start taking notes on people in a in a in a organized manner. And you know, the other thing I love, Christian, is you're just you know, you're real. You you show your life to others. You know, um, you you like adventure, and it's just you know that relationship building is is a two way street. It's not just always you know you you know, talking about Christian, it's about talking about things that your customer would be interested in. And, and, you know, people will buy from you when they know, like, and trust you. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so building that relationship, if you don't do that, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Would you agree? Oh, totally. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of, um, a lot of newer, I, I was going to say marketers, but I don't know if we can even call them marketers yet. Right. Uh, Want to be. You know, entrepreneurs, wannabe marketers. I love those people. I love that yeah. group. Um, spent a lot of time. I was that guy for years <laughs> and years and years, trying and trying and trying. Right. And one of the most common mistakes I see in this, especially in any sort of relationship marketing um, sort of world, whatever label anybody wants to put on that, um, it doesn't bother me, whatever people call it. Just bottom line, I feel like it's relationship marketing. So, if the new person's tendency is to just kind of pick up the megaphone and kind of yell, 
right obnoxious and not helpful right. <laughs> not prone to creating or developing uh or enhancing relationships yeah. <laughs> it's most like oh that's so obnoxious please do that somewhere else you know and they don't mean it that way i never right. meant it that way but i did it all the time in my in my um, zeal you know right. <laughs> my emotion uh, i would just go yell what i found though um if if you if people can kind of hit pause for a minute on their emotions and and remember you know most people you run into they're they're tuned into kind of that what's in it for me space right. um, I've lived most of my life in that space most of us do it's unusual to run into somebody um, frankly like you Leanne who isn't <laughs> who often isn't, who is attuned in tune with the needs of others and um, approaches life more from a, how can I serve? Who can I help? You know, what kind of difference can I make? Not that, you know, there are a lot of people that do that. Right. There are a lot of people that think that and do that and do make a dent, do make a difference. It's really unusual, I think, to run into people who normally do that, like just yeah. routinely do that. That's not normal. So yeah. it makes sense for us to be focused on them. And um, I've just gotten in the habit over the years of trying to clear my head of any agenda because I usually am excited about something, you know. Right. Yes. <laughs> you start asking, okay, I'll start talking. But mostly, I want to know about you. What makes you tick? Yeah. Who are you? What's going on in your neighborhood? What's going on in your family? What's going on with work? What's going on in your head? And I just, I've gotten in this habit of asking a lot of questions and, and listening. I mostly listen. And I feel like until, especially for anybody engaged in some sort of relationship marketing, until you have an idea of how you can help somebody, if you can, because maybe right. you, um, you know, I don't, I don't really have any business, um, picking up any megaphones. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So. And you, you said a key thing, um, be a good listener because, you know, a good um, contact manager system or note system doesn't work if you're not, you know, not listening for those key things. Because it could be as simple as, you know, learning that your your best friend hates chocolate. You know, so <laughs> you, put, you put that in the notes and then yep. you don't send them chocolate cake on their birthday. Yep. Or, or you're like, for me, when I first started dating Dale, I said the most important day in my life is my birthday. You can screw up every other day. <laughs> so if you learn something like that about your customer, that their birthday is like super, super important to them, then you can make a big deal out of it. If you took yes. notes on that or, you know, their dog's name or, you know, something, you yeah. find that thing that really like excites them and inspires them to live the good life. And you take the time to listen and then put it down in writing. Cause we all think, <laughs> I'm the queen of thinking, yeah. oh, I'll remember this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mistake. No, I, won't. I will not re remember <laughs> that. It'd be one thing if, you know, you only knew five people and you talk right. to the same five people all the time, then, you know, okay. It's pretty yeah. easy to keep things straight probably. But um, I think an interesting thing that a lot of, I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about over the years, but I've observed this. Um, I think most of us feel good when we add value or do something to help people that that always feels good um it, it almost feels selfish to help people sometimes because so self-serving in the end right. um but what i've found over the years is as i've as i've taken notes and um when i meet people i i i i've just in this habit where i collect information i'm just always collecting information so I'll give you one example. I, I ran into a uh, handyman at Starbucks. Um, he was in line in front of me, filthy. <laughs> and I used to be a plumber, so I get it. Um, I've worked in crawl, you know, like really nasty crawl spaces and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I know what you look like after you had done work like that. So I started to give him a hard time. I don't never met the guy, you know, and I'm my personality is is that i'm always joking around about something and sometimes it's not very well received but usually it is <laughs> in this case he took it perfectly in stride 
we ended up exchanging information. No agenda. Just hey, I used to I used to do you know really demanding physical labor and I hurt my back and you know, where I do stuff from home now I do stuff online. Um, I run into people that need stuff all the time though. So what are you good at? What kind of jobs do you like doing? What do you prefer to do? I'll take some notes. I'll take your info and I'll keep you in mind. Happy to yeah. steer work your way. And um, so I started steering work his way gradually. It was every three or four or five months I'd run into somebody locally that needed something. And, hey, I know a guy. Yeah. And um, got rave reviews each time. So this started to build up kind of a head of steam. After a few years of this, um, <clears throat> I got to know the guy well enough to establish in my own mind, okay, you know what? I think I could help this guy. So things started to go to uh, another level, have gone to another level, but it was very natural. Yeah. And in the interim, the additional connections and the additional value, um, what am I doing? Really, I'm not really doing all that much when my neighbor needs some help and I say, hey, call Pete. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it's an easy solution for a neighbor. It's work for Pete. And I'm pretty sure my neighbor is going to be happy because Pete's a solid guy and does what he says he's going to do. So just value, little bits of value being added. It makes the person who behaves that way becomes more valuable over yes. time. And it's, again, it's kind of self-serving. But am I really right. doing? I'm just pointing, you know? I'm connecting yeah. people is all. But it's really yeah. simple to do. And a lot of people don't – I don't think a lot of people really – catch those details. Yeah, I think they're, for most of us, we're looking way too far out. And so it's, we miss all the little things that are right in front of us. And, you know, so that's one thing that I, I, you know, since I was a little girl, I loved connecting people. Um, so I liked to, I was like, you know, I always wanted to be able to be that person that knew somebody that I could refer them to or hook them up with a job or hook them up with an idea. And that's kind of the whole um, idea behind my show, Go Big with Leanne, is to connect people with ideas, people, places, and things. So it's like my, it's kind of like my dream job. I'm not sure how I'm going to get paid for doing it, but you know, that's a, that's a story <laughs> for the day. Um, but I know, you know, several months ago, you're really struggling with finding a um, contact management system that met yep. all your needs. And so you, you found one, right? That I did. That's your liking. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um, so this has been a long-term issue for me. Um, I think I started with Microsoft Outlook, like, you know, a thousand years ago. And it was okay. It was better than nothing. Right. Um, but it was missing a lot of basic functionality that the more I learned, the more I used it, the less, the more I thought, oh man, I wish it did this, or I wish it did that, or I wish I could do this or that. Um, I made it work. Um, eventually I transitioned to other contact relationship management tools and platforms and stuff. I've spent money. I've done the free stuff. I've done, I think I've done just about everything. I've spent a lot of money and I've spent a little bit of money. I've even done free. And, uh, yeah. So more recently I, I really have wanted to settle in to a single place because when you take you know, hundreds or thousands of contacts from something to something else. Yeah. It's technical. If you can even do that sort of thing and retain timestamps and stuff, it's, right. it's not easy. So, uh, yeah, I found a uh, contact squirrel. Let's see. You've got the address here. I love it. It's, it's almost like it was purpose built for me. It's almost like, uh, I mean, it does exactly what I want it to do. And it doesn't have a bunch of, um, one of the issues that I've had over the years, um, there's a lot of platforms out there that do everything under the sun and the developers and stuff, maybe they're like super brilliant, amazing people and they're inventive. They do all these things. I don't need all the things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's confusing to me. I'm a pretty simple guy. Right. And I, and I on, on, usually when I'm, when I'm working with people and, and, trying to help people out, um, what I found is if I'm steering them in a direction of something that's complicated, sophisticated, and maybe a little bit towards the expensive side of things, it's tough. It just, it doesn't stick very well. It doesn't serve them very well. Um, simple is better, I think, usually, unless yeah. you're specializing, you know, and you absolutely need all the shine, you know, the bells and whistles. I think most people don't really need that. Most of us just need something simple that works that I don't have to think 
about really. Right. So yeah, big plug for contact squirrel. Um, you run their customer service, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been great. I've had a great experience with you guys. Um, I love using the platform. I have it open on my phone constantly. Uh, the mobile version works great. Um, it checked off all the boxes that, that I was looking for. It's simple. It's yeah. very inexpensive, simple. And if you're, so my, my calendar, uh, one other kind of interesting side note, very relevant to anybody that's engaged in um, probably just about any kind of entrepreneurial pursuit at all. Um, what I've gotten in the habit of doing over the years, like some collecting information. And as I collect that information, I put dates, times, I put appointments for myself on my calendar. And I'd, I'd estimate probably 95% of my appointments, they're just with me. <laughs> right. Saying, hey, Leanne, let's do this on such and such a date necessarily. I do that too. Yeah. Um, but most of my appointments are with myself. And it's, and it's a note to myself on my calendar, tomorrow's Leanne's birthday, be sure to say something. Right. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it's prompts really for myself to take the next action, the next, um, make the next move. And it's, and it's driven from a place and this is maybe goes without saying, I don't know, but, um, I think I, I would encourage entrepreneurs. Most that I've met, I think are kind of wired this way anyway, but, um, my observation of, of really good businesses out there, like my favorite businesses are the ones that serve people really well. Yes. They're so focused on making me happy. Yep. Giving me exactly what I want, filling exactly the 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 hole I need filled or whatever. Right. Um I of course I love those businesses the most. I happily give them money. I look forward to giving them money. Yes. I want to trade. Here take some money and I want whatever it is you do in exchange, right? And that's yep. good basic business. Um so collecting and, and managing information and then using it to prompt uh, your next move in the interests of serving others as best you can. Right. Which, I don't know. Does that require caring or not? I don't know if it requires it, but it's easier if you do care. Right. Like, do I want Leanne to have a really good day? Yes. Yeah. I like Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> like I genuinely do. It's not just yeah. on my calendar because it's the logical next move. Right. It and comes from a place of, of care and concern. Yeah. And I think people can sniff that out too. If you're just doing it for just, you know, salesy reasons, that's yep. not, it's not going to last very long. And the, and the salesperson, I don't think they can stick with doing it because it feels too much like work. But when you're yeah. doing it from a place of caring and authenticness, yeah. then it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like being a good human being, which, you know, yes. I, that's what I strive to do every day. So then it's like, it's not draining, but if I'm, if it feels like a sales pitch or whatever, then that is draining. So it, I love that. And in this day and age too, you know, we've had a, you know, no one would have imagined what 2020 was going to look like um, in our wildest dreams. So there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of, a lot of, lot going on right now. So the more that you can just take a deep breath and really think about who you, who your customer is and how you can bring a little bit of peace and calmness and, you know, love to their day, then you are definitely going to stand out in their mind because most people are just scrambling right now. So um, yeah. again, it goes back to the simple things in everyday life end up meaning the most. I mean, most yeah. of us, you know, we have those big like Disneyland experiences, but you know, the day your, your child smiles at you or like my grandkids say, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's magical, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so, you know, even just those little things. And that's what we want to do with our customers. And if you have a good con uh, contact manager system. And the other thing I love about um, Contact Squirrel is, you know, if you're a big leader in a company, you can you can actually share some of your templates and cool things. So if you want to deep dive into the actual product, you can you can go to the site. There's an intro video. But if that's not enough, I'd be happy to set up a more um, in-depth training for big leaders and their teams or whomever. Um, we've, we've got people that are willing to do that. So 
we don't, yeah. you know, Christian uses it, but he's, you know, he's, he's a customer. So I don't expect him to, you know, do <laughs> all that. We will be happily, happily to give tours and things like that. Cause it's a, it's a great needed product, but it's also like Christian has well stated, it's just about being a good person. Um, and in that then, and cause I use it um, just to track, you know, my family and um, interviews and things like that. And it, it's very, very helpful cause it's all in one place. And yeah a click of a button, I can add some notes and, and have it all right there. And it's like Christian said, if it get, if things get too complicated, I just shut down and I'm like, Oh, never mind, You know? Um, so simple, I think simple is good for most of us. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah no learning curve, please. I, I don't want to, I'm tired of learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if you're learning on the beach, you know, with those beautiful waves crashing in, you know, <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm landlocked in Kansas, and Christians, you know, enjoys the beautiful scenes of. I don't know if it'll. I don't know if you'll be able to see the water. Uh, the way the lighting is, I don't know. Yeah, but, I can't see it, but I can imagine it. Oh, yeah. It's out there. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. It's actually a beautiful day in Kansas today. Um, we had a cold front move in, crazy. Um, mm. The winds were like 60 miles per hour, but it's only like 80 degrees today. So, but, um, cold front. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's been like 95 close to hundred. So, wow. um, yeah. Um, but I want to be respectful of your time, Christian. And again, I, you know, you're just, you're a great um, person. You're a great leader and you've done a really fantastic job of, um, you know, being that person that builds those relationships. And then the key, we didn't really talk about much, but, you know, follow up, you know, a lot of people get those contacts in there um, and they learn a few things about them, but then they never, it just sits dormant in their, in their management system. So we didn't talk much about that, but um, so any, any couple pointers about follow up? Um, yeah. 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 So I think um, for me personally, having the, having the functionality to be able to tie my calendar into my contact relationship management setup, whatever that is, um, over the years, that's been a big deal. If it's more than a couple clicks, it's a deterrent for right. most of us. Like we live in such an instant gratification <laughs> world, don't we? Man, yes, it needs to be efficient and simple. So what I do, um, I have tied uh, your guys' setup to my calendar. And it's really clean, really simple, couple clicks, and I'm booking things for myself. So whether it's uh, because most of mine are just reminders, kind of notes to self. Right. Um, I use it constantly for that. So it shows up on my calendar. Um, um, one big follow up tip, probably maybe the, the, the biggest follow up advice I could give somebody would be go from appointment to appointment. So when you do an appointment, you should be setting the next appointment. Often that'll just be with yourself. Right. Most often it's, it's for yourself. It's a note to yourself to reach out and take whatever the next logical step is um, for whatever you're trying to accomplish or however you're trying to help. You know, if yeah. you come from a place of service and who can I help, how can I help? Um, it's really, uh, it does really change the nature of, it changes how everything feels on, on both sides. Um, it can be tough. Uh, I, I run into people and I know you have two who, um, they're really hurting financially and right. especially in 2020, you got a lot of people in a lot of pain. Yeah. Um, so you will run into people who say, I need to make, you know, X number of dollars yesterday, please. Right. <laughs> um, if you're in that reality, I've been there. I lived a lot of my life there. I know what right. that feels like. I feel the, I feel your pain. I'm sorry. Yeah. My advice would be somehow get your head in a different place and, and focus on serving others. The, the fastest way to solve your own challenges would be to go serve a bunch of people, go help a bunch of people, go fill a bunch of, a, a bunch of people's needs, yeah. find a way to do that. Again, it just comes back to basic business. Um, in times of great need, like we're in now, um, the bigger the problem, usually the bigger the solution. There are big solutions out there. Um, go be a part of a solution somehow. And the more you can pour yourself into serving others and filling needs, the more you'll find you're okay. Yeah. I think, I think 
there's a ton of opportunity right now. So uh, like, like you said, if you shift your mindset a little bit and be willing to get your hands dirty and go out there and serve, it will come back. Um, it may not be immediate. And that that's when you may have to use Facebook marketplace to sell a few of your stuff, you know, Yeah, but you can, you can build relationships that way too. You know, just make sure you, you know, treat everybody with respect. So at the end of the day, you know, it's, um, you know, being a good listener, being a good human being, being respectful and coming from that point of service is, you know, keep it simple. Um, and then use a great system that helps you stay organized. Because if you have a bunch of, like, I was the queen of sticky notes, uh -huh. and, and, a notebook, and but I couldn't remember which page of the notebook I had them on. And like, and half the note was on one page and half the note was on three pages later. I'm like, does this go with this person or that person? So, you know, it's easier to, from the beginning to, but not everybody's at the beginning, but if you're at the beginning of a starting, whatever kind of, uh, you know, adventure that involves people, get get going with your contact management system now versus yep. later um because it's a, it's a, also a habit that you have to form um so good listening is is not most people's um <laughs> strong suit so you have to yeah. practice these habits practice being a good listener practice being a servant leader and practice taking good good notes um in a logical organized manner <laughs> yep that's my yep. two cents. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what what we have just done here is like a mass. If you're in relationship, if you're watching this and you do yeah. some sort of relationship marketing based kind of a business, um, this this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't think of anything that's more important that takes right. precedence over this stuff. Yeah, this, like the the foundation. If you're not doing this, you're probably just going to spin your wheels. Yeah and be really frustrated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you're going to come back and watch this video in a year and go, man, I should have listened to them. <laughs> I should have been collecting contacts. Uh -huh. yeah, I was in a mode yeah. for a long time, for years and years, where I would not let myself go to bed unless I had added two contacts to my yeah. list. Yeah. No agenda, not, you know, no, no right. agenda uh, involved. Just, I'm just expanding my network, period. Yeah. Um, stayed in the habit for years and um, my network now is t over 12,000 people that I've yeah. <laughs> taken notes on and talked with and you know. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's amazing because the brain, I think they say that in, in our brain, we can only like keep track of like, I think a hundred or less. I don't I, think my brain can handle that. <laughs> I don't mind that. But I think scientifically, I think they say we can only manage like a hundred. So um mm. So if you're thinking you're one of those people that could manage 12,000 contacts, then you're not, not a good thought, but no. um, so I think we'll wrap this up and I, I you know, appreciate people joining us and Christian, again, thank you for your time and, and your knowledge. Cause yeah, you're just uh, fantastic at what you do. Um, but you're just being you, you know, that's, that's the cool thing, but you've gotten really good at being you. And <laughs> yeah, I figure that out, you know, the older you get, the more you figure that out, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have any questions um, about Contact Squirrel, feel free to, you know, comment here. I'll get you the information. Um, if you're friends with Christian, he can hook you up with me and get, get you set up. Or you can just go straight to the site because it's not yep. affiliate based or anything. It's just, you know, um, there's a free trial, seven days, no credit card needed. Um, and then um, the cost is very, very low entry, affordable for any, even if you're just using it for personal use to track, you know, your plumber and your neighbors and everybody else. So, um, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm good. Any final parting, um, words of wisdom, Christian, for anybody out there? So my dad, yeah, one, one, one last thing. My dad used to tell my brothers and sisters and I have eight brothers and sisters for four of wow. each. kind. Um, so we got, we got an occasional lecture. We were very deserving <laughs> on occasion of some lecturing. Right. Um, my dad used to say, and I think it's appropriate in this setting, um, <laughs> if you want shade, the best time to plant an oak tree is 100 years ago. Right. The next best time is right now. Yeah. So I would encourage you, um, regardless of what you do in life, I would encourage you start keeping track of people um, yeah. start taking notes start remembering these these uh digitally remembering these things because you will forget we will we do forget and if you start taking notes now 
you know, who knows where you'll be six months, 12 months, 24 months from now. I am so grateful for my friend Nancy caring enough yeah. to get my face and say, you need to do this now. Not, hey, this is really important eventually. No, you right. need to get up and, and do this now. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be my my parting advice. To take this really so, seriously and, and do it now. Yeah. So we'll be Nancy. So you heard it from Christian and Leanne that do it yeah. now, do it now, um, because you deserve it. Everybody on here deserves to have success, deserves to have a fulfilling life, and deserves to have those quality relationships. And quality relationships um, take nurturing. So nurture yourself, nurture relationships, and just be a good person. And we will close out for today. So thank you, everyone. And um, Christian, I, again, greatly appreciate everything that I've learned from you. you. <laughs> it's, it's, you been a fun, it's been a fun ride. So. Yep. Yep. Good seeing you. Thanks for having me on. All Take right. Bye-bye. See you.